Well, I had two boards left uh, of the eight-quarter cherry, and this particular board uh, just didn't have enough uh, before you got into the lighter wood uh, to get all four drawer fronts out of that one. So uh, I ripped down the other one into uh, four pieces, and uh, here's the drawer progression from the first drawer, the smallest, to, to the largest. And you can see that, uh, well, I've squared up the boards, and uh, they're not ripped to uh, exact size yet, but you can see the patterns uh, traced uh, there. And I used my handy-dandy uh, template there, which has been cut to the um, length of the uh, drawer inserts. Uh, so that's how long they need to be. So I'm going to chop them out, and... Uh, then the next step is to bandsaw them along the line and uh, I'll probably use my heavy duty bandsaw on that since it's a fairly thick resaw process so particularly on the uh, largest drawer back here this is six and a half inches so um, we're uh, about ready to start on the drawer fronts well, here we are with the uh, drawer fronts cut to size and uh, fit into the drawer openings uh, before sawing. So uh, <clears throat> that's how they're going to look, uh, obviously, when they need to be cut out. But uh, So that's the next step. We're going to bandsaw out the curves. Bandsaw the uh, four drawer fronts, uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, I've got quite a bit of cleanup to do. I tried to leave about a 30 second on the front on the line so that I've got some material to uh, use to smooth it over. And um, I'm uh, you, I, I, of course, didn't saw out the backs because it's much, much easier to work on them when you have a flat reference point. And then, of course, the backs of the drawer fronts don't have to be that pretty anyway. So I'll bandsaw those out once I get the fronts where I want. So I haven't used my uh, compass plane since I made the Bombay chest, but it it's a pretty good tool in uh, this particular case uh, for um, cur uh, rounding over these curves and smoothing it out. So I've started working on this end. Now I've used a spoke shave as well. Uh, here, but uh, it um, works pretty good. Of course, you want to plane downhill. So it's, it, it keeps the uh, keeps the shape, and uh, there's a small flat spot here yet, so I can plane this way downhill and this way downhill. Although here I don't have as much room because it, uh, the front of the plane hits. Uh, so then I've got to use a spoke shape to go uh, that direction, but uh, you get the idea. I've got lots to do, so you'll, we can have some more video. As you can see, the compass plane is adjustable in both directions, so you can make the, the convex over here and the concave in the middle, and it's just a matter of setting the proper curve and then adjusting the blade. The nice thing about it versus the spoke shave is that it covers a, a broader area and guarantees that you're, it doesn't guarantee, but it helps guide you. It's low here, you can see, and it's high there, so if I run it across there, eventually that low to high will disappear. So uh, that's the value of the compass plane. Well, one is uh, pretty much done. I could uh, 
maybe uh, make it a little deeper in the center but it's pretty close um, to where it needs to be so uh, I think we'll move on to the second one and we'll do some fine tuning later but uh, it works pretty well with the compass plane spoke shave and then scraper well we have two done now uh, came out pretty good and um, we got two more to go so we'll keep at it here the last uh, drawer here four drawer fronts are in. Um, I've finished shaping them here and did some light scraping. So um, I like the pattern that uh, came out uh, between the two sets of the drawers that I did. So the next steps are to cut out the backs and then mill some wood for the sides and the, the back and do some dovetailing here to, to make a... there we go... to make them uh, into drawers. <laughs> 